Welcome to today's tutorial. Today we will look into some of the most useful modification commands, which are move, copy and rotate. Moving and copying are frequently needed actions when you work on a CAD project. It is time to learn some of the modification commands. These commands are used to modify the created or already existing sketches or drawings. Now let us learn how to move and copy objects in AutoCAD. Two simple commands, yet very important. Let's see how to move an object in AutoCAD. The move command will help change the location of an object in the drawing area. To use the move command, select the object or objects to move. Then you need to click on the icon shown on the move icon, or you can provide the move command that is M. After that select the base point with a click, and remember that you don't hold. Then simply move and drop. Notice that when moving an object, you can activate the ortho mode and use the command area to enter the exact distance you want to move the object with. The ortho mode will ensure you are moving in a straight line. We have discussed the ortho mode in the previous tutorial. Do check the tutorials if you have any doubt. Let us take an example to understand the move command. Let's move the six circles below to the right. Step 1 is to activate the ortho mode to constrain the cursor movement orthogonally. Step 2 will be selecting circles. Step 3 is to click on the move icon or input command. Step 4 is to select the base point about which you want to move the object. And the final step 5 will be to move your cursor to the right, leave the mouse in that position, then enter 55 and hit enter. Now let us move on to how to copy an object in AutoCAD. The copy command works similarly to the move command, with the only difference that it leaves a copy of the original object in its position. Feel free to use the Ctrl plus C and Ctrl plus V to copy and paste objects in AutoCAD. To copy objects in AutoCAD you need to select them first, and you can as well use the technique we used above to place the copy at a certain distance and angle from the original item. Now moving on to the Rotate command. The Rotate command will simply help rotate an object. You need to recall the AutoCAD tutorial where we learned how to draw lines and angles, it will be important to remember the idea of angle in AutoCAD and the trigonometric circle. Now for an example we will rotate a square to 120 degrees. To rotate it we need to select the square. After that, we need to click on the rotate icon or provide the command R dot then specify the base point. And lastly sp specify the rotation angle, positive angle for anti-clockwise rotation and negative angle for clockwise rotation, and hit enter. This is the way we use move, copy and rotate commands. I hope this topic is clear to all and in case you are facing any doubt, kindly drop any questions or doubts in the comment section.